So for game one, I'm playing Bane. And I'm actually playing really well. Like, I'm managing to play against a freaking Ash Senna as a Vayne. So, I ain't complaining. Like, I played pretty well in laning phase, but my mid to late game needs improvement on the Vayne. So, yeah. Even though I did okay in laning phase, right now I died 8 times in this game, and this game is pretty much doomed. The only hope is our Hecarim, and our Hecarim is getting kited, so. Quite unfortunate. Sadly, we are gonna be losing this game. Of course, we still have to honor Brom. Like, he played really well. I lost 23 OP, which is quite unfortunate, but it's alright. Also, oh my god, this game was so difficult because Akali kept one shotting me over and over and over and over again. I was unable to play the game because Akali was 19 kills. Our mid laner and top laner was really behind as well. Not to mention our jungler was the only hope. He was playing really really well but it was not enough. So for this game we lose 23 OP and we're left with 6 OP. Game number 2. We're playing Janna Naila against Jinx Sona. Yeah, it's gonna be quite annoying to do with a Sona, especially when we have a Janna that's already half HP, level 1. I just dislike playing with Janna mains in general, like, I feel like we are not doing that much in any phase. And as you can see from level 1, it's not going too great, right? I'm trying to like trade and contest the CS and we already half HP just by trying to do that. Also, the Sona is just poking us non-stop, making our life quite hard. We bounce the wave and we have level advantage right now, so I try to look for all in opportunity on the Sona, but that shield was too much to deal with, not to mention the heal on top of that. Literally made it made her unkillable and it had to back out. I get hit by the W, but it doesn't matter too much because I still have ghost and I can just run away from the Jinx. Uh, Janna should be fine because she has a shield and yeah even from that we tried to run her down it didn't work out and now the wave is in kind of terrible position and we are forced to reset. Well good thing is enemy Jinx had to reset as well and she's gonna be missing quite a bit of minions so that's really good for us also we're gonna be getting a plate and we're gonna be collecting the next wave for free as well. Enemy mid lane LeBlanc actually decides to come bot lane and it works and she gets a pick on us and because we stepped into the traps and I tried to save a Janna with my W that's two kills for enemy team and Jinx has two kills right now just because of a one random roam from a mid lane yikes that's a big mistake from our side we should have just backed out and respect LeBlanc missing on the map at level 5 I would never expect LeBlanc to roam so early and TF to be so behind that he's 14 CS down while LeBlanc was roaming down. Of course, Lee Sin coming in here to save the day and gets a pick on the Jinx, which is pretty good for us. And afterwards, we're gonna be showing the wave and looking for some division, or we're gonna be looking for a reset timing, and we're gonna be getting Dirk. TF comes to the bot lane. And right now Jan is still safe, still safe and she walks up and dies to the Jinx rocket and that's a third kill to Jinx. Maybe we can still pull something back but it doesn't seem right. Oh, okay we get a pick on Talia but we trade Leeson's life for that. And the game is not looking bright because Jinx already has 3 kills. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough one, not to mention Sona gonna be scaling really well too. Now uh, TF is staying in lane as well and not allowing me to collect my free wave alone. So that's something that I didn't see that much in higher divisions beforehand. But yeah, he decided to stay and collect the wave with me while well, I'm safe to do so and deny himself two waves mid lane. But yeah, that's how it is. And of course, we go on the Sona pick. And sadly we don't get her, but at least we got her flush, so next time we can actually look to finish her off. Another skirmish appears in the river, and uh, right now the wave is neutral, so I decide, okay I have time, I'm gonna move here and try to help my team, so 
I woke up and then I flush in, E in, and we get a pick on Talia. Sadly, the TF took it, even though that I flushed for it, but it's fine, doesn't matter too much. And because the VIP is still neutral bot lane, I feel like I can go for a hunt more. I look for a pick on the LeBlanc, and I get a pick on the LeBlanc. And then Lee Sin kicks out the Jinx and gets a kill on Jinx as well. And we're in really good shape right now. We're in a really, really good spot. That was a really, really ballsy play by me, and it worked out. So I'm really satisfied with the outcome. The benefits of being behind, because our team was behind in average levels, the wave bounced back to us, and we're collecting this juicy wave. And even if we the Jinx has free kills, it doesn't matter anymore. It literally doesn't matter anymore. Even through that she's really fast, she has free kills, we can just freeze on her and just keep a wave close to her through it. If she steps up, we can just always ghost in and run her down. Of course, Jana is being a little bit weird right now. She's going for a dragon war. And yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. We can work with that. We can work with that. And then enemies misstep. TF Arzen goes for a Jinx. I'm ghosting in as well. I'm trying to catch up the Jinx. Uh, the hurricane lands and we actually get a pick on the Jinx. Sadly, I'm not the one collecting the kill, but TF got it. And uh, right now, I'm dipping. I'm dipping because I want none of that. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I want some of that. And then I go on the uh, Sona and then, nope, I don't want any of that. I'm just E out. And then I'm like, maybe I can I can get a quick LeBlanc kill. No, 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 just go bot lane. Just go bot lane. It's fine. We're going to be shoving in the bot wave. And then we're going to be loot resetting and looking for a collector purchase. Oh, Jinx stepped up. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Our Lee Sin is here. Flash kick into us. And she's gone. And I got a kill. Really nice. Really clean by Lee Sin. And then he places Herald bot side as well. I Q the turret once, so I get the gold from the Herald. Of course, I'm staying by to get the gold. You need to make sure that you stand in this bush specifically to still receive the gold from the turret. And then Lee Sin gets another pick on the LeBlanc. Oh my god, I love this listen. Like, he's playing so freaking well, and he's playing bot side as well. Like, that's the best thing about junglers when they play your lane, and then you can actually 1v9 afterwards. So, that's really amazing. Of course, now we're gonna be looking for a reset and getting a quick cloak. But right now, I still think maybe you can look for a cheese instead of reset because there's a pink ward in the middle of bush. So, I'm like, okay, let's go for a cheese. Because we spotted Varus being mid lane, I'm like, okay, cool, we're gonna get this turret. I know LeBlanc is coming because uh, Jinx is mid lane, so automatically it's gonna be a free turret for us. And then, oh my god, that was a significant amount of damage. Also, because I don't have cleanse, I couldn't cleanse and follow my R up to the LeBlanc. She survived, which is quite fortunate. But we still get the uh, turret, so that's really good. And right now, my goal is to go mid lane. And make sure that we push in the mid wave, go for raptors, push in mid wave, go for scudo, push in mid wave, go for raptors, push in mid wave, go for buffs, push in mid lane, go for division, just pressure the map around the mid lane. We're just chilling mid lane right now, but suddenly LaBlan comes in and just one shots our Janna, single handedly, just like that, which is quite unfortunate, but it's fine because we're gonna avenge her and we get another juicy shutdown on the LaBlan. Of course, Trindamir tries to run us down, but I just ghost in and be like, nope, you ain't getting me. And then I look for Flash R, but sadly, Trindamir has ghost as well. So, that's unfortunate, and I couldn't even get the R Flash on him, but I got two other people, but they were not my primary target, so a bit of a mistake on my side, which is gonna cost us the mid turret. And then suddenly, Trindamir appears from our jungle, then there's no raptors, then there's no red buff. He just randomly decided to go here and just run me down. So now I see that, okay, my W is not enough to deal with Trindamir who has two items. And I'm like, yeah, he is also level 14 while I'm level 10. That doesn't seem right, so I decide that to ignore the Trindamir for the rest of the game. Go back mid lane and where we belong, and then of course we're gonna be looking for mid turrets. We place the Herald. The plank almost one shots me, but then I R in and try to run away from the Trindamir. Please, please save me. Save me from him, please. Like, he's so fed. He's so huge right now, it's so difficult to deal with him actually. 
but Garen doesn't care. He's just literally trying to run down the Trindamir. I'm playing really cautiously, just trying to get that tier 2 meteorite real quick and just backing out. Also, I have enough gold for Navori, so I want to reset and get the Navori. Alright, I have Navori, I have the damage, it's time to pop off. Uh, the TF tries to look for a pick, but then I get CC'd, and then I got knocked out, and then I got Jin starred. And I still killed LeBlanc after all of that, and I survived just because I have Janna. And suddenly, I start to fall in love with Janna, like, she's amazing mid-game. Like, she was not offering much in laning phase, but in mid-game, she's saving me quite hard, not gonna lie. Like, if it's not for Janna, I would be dead there 100% of the time, so I really appreciate you, Janna, for saving me. Much obliged. And right now, of course, they're gonna look for another reset. I'm gonna be selling. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna be utilizing my pink ward while resetting. And then go for a critical. We decide, screw it. Let's just do Baron. Let's just do Baron. What happens, happens. L let us make them come to, me to us and then look for some hunt. And Listen gets a really good hunt because he kicked the ADC into us. Uh, sadly, it couldn't get the Blanc. And right now I'm turning around on the Trindamir to try to finish off the Trindamir. Trindamir literally runs into 1v4 and almost, ki almost kills one of us. So that's something. And of course, because we got a really good pick on the Jix, the fight went our way and we're gonna go for a Baron. Our teammates are currently on side lane, so we're like, okay, we're gonna go mid, pressure mid, and if we can join our team, we go join our team. And of course, we find a really good pick on the Talia, but Talia flashes that big wall, but we don't care, we go on the Jinx instead, we slap the Jinx, we one-shot the Jinx, and then we slap the Talia, we kill the Talia, and that's the game over. We literally just ace them, we have wave next to us, three cannon minions, huge wave, the game is over, like there's no way we can actually defend, and I'm like, thank you Lee. Thank you, Lee. And Janna is like, thanks for carry Lee. And everyone is just thanking the Lee because, like, the dude literally won the line this game. Like, he was playing really amazing and he single handedly carried the game. Of course, uh, I had to give it to Listen. I know Janna did well and everything, but, like, I had to give it to Listen. And we get 29. LP from that, putting us at 90 LP, which is so amazing. We're finally climbing pretty fast, pretty fast, and our games are going great. We're getting good junglers, we're getting good supports, we're getting decent top laners. I mean, the tournament was a bit huge, but he came back, he came back, he came back, so it's fine. And our TF did pretty good as well, not gonna complain about him too. So yeah, it was a pretty amazing game. Of also, Jinx was 3-0 and because our entire team is snowballing, she ended up being 3-8 at the end of the game. Also, I learned that I should just dodge whenever Vanilla is banned and I shouldn't pick up Bane, right? I thought it's kinda easy champion, right? I went Storm Razor into Trinity, but I think that build is not it for me, definitely. And I think it would be better for me to go Shiv, even from that I hate that item. But on Bane it makes a lot of sense. But of course Storm Razor is just way more powerful. Or you can go literally just for Q build, right? There's so many ways to play the Bane, but yeah, it depends on personal preference to, to be honest. But because I played Bane only once in the past five years. Um, because before that I used to be like a Bane one trick. I used to spam only Bane, but... Then I stopped and start playing uh, Nyla only, right? Because I enjoy the champion so much. Like, I, I love this champion so freaking much. It's so much fun for me to play her every single game. So I don't want to... Ki I, I kind of don't want to play anything else but Nyla. So, yeah, I should be just dodging the games whenever Nyla is banned or picked in the future games. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and have a nice rest of your day.